Welcome to the Delaware Park Locker Room, where we strive to teach you all the sports bets you can have in your locker while betting at Delaware Park. This segment will cover wagers that use a point spread. To put it simply, a point spread is a margin of points that is used to determine how much the favorite needs to win by or how much the underdog can lose by in order to cover the spread. When you look at the point spread, you will see both negative and positive numbers. The negative number will represent the favorite team and a positive number will represent the underdog or the team who is seen as most likely to lose. Let's say we're looking to bet on an NFL game, in this case, the Eagles versus the Giants. The bookmakers decided to give the Eagles a point spread of minus six and a half. What the bookmakers are saying is that if you make a bet on the point spread in favor of the Eagles, the Eagles need to win the game by seven points or more. On the opposite side of the spectrum, we have the Giants, which the bookmakers gave them a point spread of plus six and a half. The positive sign denotes them as the underdog. So what the bookmakers are trying to tell you is that if the Giants win outright, any bet on them is covered. And if the Giants were to lose by six points or less, any bet on them would also still be covered because they were given a six and a half points at the start of the game. The half point makes a huge difference most of the time. And with bettors grouped as winners and losers based on who they favored when betting. If the Eagles won by six, any bet on the Eagles would not cover, whereas any bet on the Giants would cover because they started the game with six and a half points and won by that half point. Let's say the line was seven instead of six and a half. Eagles would start at minus seven and the Giants would start at plus seven. Without the half a point, there are outcomes that can end as a push. A push is breaking even or a draw. If the game ended with the Eagles winning by seven and the Giants losing by seven, the game ended right on the line, creating no winners or losers, thus a push. Any game that ended in a push allows the better to receive the original amount of money put into the bet back. Also be aware that each of the spreads has its own odds as well, which can help when determining payouts and making choices while sports betting. Using that same Eagles game, we will show you what the odds look like side by side with the spreads. The Eagles spread of minus six and a half is at minus 110, while the Giants spread of plus six and a half is at plus 102. This shows that based on current bets, the Eagles spread is considered the favorite choice between the two. That about wraps up our segment on point spreads. For more videos on sports wagering and horse racing, visit the Delaware Park YouTube page. And for all information about everything Delaware Park, visit our website at DelawarePark.com. And most of all, do not forget to like us on Facebook and to follow Del Park Racing on Twitter. That does it for this segment on point spreads.